Hi guys, Max Perez from Digital Octopus and today I'm gonna do a really quick review and this is our new product, it's called the AI Go from Digital Octopus and as you can see here, it's a small package. It can convert your existing head unit to an Android head unit. This works on most cars from 2017 up. So I'm gonna get started. I'm just gonna go over what some of the features are in uh, on the box, what, what, what it says, and then I'm gonna open the product and show you what exactly what it looks like. It's very simple. There's not much to open. This is probably gonna be one of the fastest uh, unboxing that I do. So as you can see, we have the box here. It's about maybe four inches by four inches. And then it, as we go on the side, you can see it says a 4G communications. That means you can connect a SIM card to it like your uh, from your phone carrier and it will have built-in internet. Then we have up to 128 gigabytes of storage. So if you have music videos that you wanna record, you can put them in your storage and put them in the system. Uh, it's an Android system 9.0. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon, one of the best processors out there right now. And it says here numerous applications, which is uh, you're gonna have access to the Google Play Store, which means you're gonna have access to millions and millions of apps on the app, um, on the Play Store. Uh, here we go on the other side, it's plug and play. This is so easy, it's plug and play. All you basically have to do is connect your USB to your car and you are set to go. Built-in GPS, so no running wires, none of that stuff, you don't need to, you could do it right from the system. Uh, it has video play, so if you have something playing on your phone, you could actually project it on your screen. Wireless Android Auto, and of course, wireless CarPlay. So if you have uh, CarPlay that plugs in, that you need your phone for it to work, with this, all you have to do is you, you walk into your car and it's gonna start working automatically. There's no need to plug anything in. In the back here, okay, in the back, so we have here, it says open Android system, and it's Android, of course. The CPU is the Snapdragon, as I said before, it's the SM450, one of the best ones out there. Uh, the DVR memory is 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of ROM, which means the system already has 64 gigabytes of space that you can actually put in music, video files, and anything you need. After that, if you fill up that space, you could always use your SD card and, and add more data to it, more storage. The language is multiple languages, Bluetooth, dual band, and dual frequency. Output resolution. Output resolution means what resolution is going to display on your screen. This is adaptive. That means that if you have a larger screen or a smaller screen, higher resolution, lower resolution, it's going to adapt automatically to the resolution set on your radio. Then we have the network and of course it's 4G and Wi-Fi. It supports built-in GPS. Condition of use means uh, what are the system requirements? So uh, your system needs at least to have a uh, car plate built into the head unit with the wire. And then you have the size here, which is 75, nine millimeters. Accessories, it comes with two USB cables. The power, it powers off the USB. So everything is, is basically in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. You have a nice, beautiful case. I'm gonna just open this up and it's even smaller. The system is actually even smaller than the box, so it's very portable. So we're gonna put this on the side. And like I said, this is a real simple, simple video and it's a simple unit. And as you can see, it only has uh, three, two wires, which are the two USBs that are supplied. And what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna plug this in to your system depending on which end your car has. If it has a USB 2.0 or, or one of these USB-Cs, you can just plug this in and it'll come right up in your system. It takes about not even five to 10 seconds to load up. Over here, as you can see, we have your SD card uh, reader. So we put our extra memory here if we need it. 
I'm gonna take this off. This is where the power goes, of course. And then here you have a little sticker that says notice. And the notice is that you got you have to make sure you stick in your SIM card for for your 4G connection. It has to be in that direction. So I'm gonna push this out of the way. I'm gonna put this on the side. And then of course, you have the top here. bottom here and this is the size it fits right in the palm of my hand this is perfect if you go traveling if you rent a car that has CarPlay uh, so you don't have to connect your phone into their system you just basically plug this in you can take your music with you so it's basically having your radio everywhere that you go so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the SIM card so you can see what that looks like I don't, unfortunately I don't have an SD card right now with me but the SD, uh, the SIM card goes in, of course, like I said, this goes facing down. And then just push that in with your fingernail. In this case, my fingernails are really short, so I'm just gonna use this uh, tweezers and I'm just gonna push it in. You should hear it click and you're set to go. So we're gonna plug this in. We're gonna go outside to the car. We're gonna test this and I'll show you how that works. All right, guys, so here we are in the car, and this is a 2020 Toyota Camry that I got at Serrano, and I love it just because of the fact that I could uh, bring this uh, device with me, which has all my music I, I use everywhere, and, you know, and I, w I just want to take it everywhere I go. So I'm just going to plug it in real quick into the USB, and the installation is done. You don't have to do anything else. So let's turn on the key so you can see what it looks like. So the system is going to take whatever time it needs to take, depending on the car that you're using. Usually about 30 seconds for every car. It may vary. And then, of course, if you're familiar with uh, the system, which you should be if you're buying this product, you will see that it says uh, Apple CarPlay when you connect your phone. But this time we have our system connected and you should see it's already showing up there. But I want to show you these uh, icons here. And um, I'm just going to go into the home screen real quick. So the first time you power this up, what you are going to see is the th this menu here. And this is basically the Android system. So now your, your factory radio is actually an Android radio. So how cool is that? You could go in through here. You could go into YouTube. If you want, you could watch videos. You could open Netflix, watch Netflix, listen to your music. So I'm just going to go back to the home screen. Right here we have Netflix. So you can open that up, log into your account. Remember, we put a 4G card in it, so it's showing up here that it's reading it. If you don't have a 4G card, that's fine because you could also tether your phone to the system and you could grab the internet through the system. We have a video player, Google, Google Voice Search Assistant. Just gonna click it out. This is the first time I use this system here. So I'm just going through these uh, options. And then finally, I'm gonna show you the map, which has, uh, is a Google map. We're gonna skip this for now, but it's uh, right away, it's gonna show me where I'm at. Uh, this, of course, is connected to Wi-Fi. So you need uh, a 4G SIM card if you want the GPS to work right off hand with no other uh, tether to the phone. You will need a 4G card for this. If not, you can also purchase a uh, standalone uh, GPS software such as uh, Mavic or one of those uh, uh, Garmin, I'm sorry, and one of those uh, apps. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and open up our wireless carplay as i promised so i'm gonna go first to the bluetooth phone it says bt phone on that we're gonna click on that and once it, op it opens up i'm gonna do a search for my phone i'm just gonna open up my phone here and i'm gonna op open my bluetooth and right away you see it shows up here I'm just gonna click on that here and then it's gonna open up on the system here on my phone all right so now we see our system here it says 
Auto Kit T Box. That's this system here. If you're not sure what the name is, I'll show you in a second where you can find the name and it's just by going to Bluetooth and you could uh, actually you could change the device name to whatever you want here but right now we'll just leave it to T-Box just to make this video quick so we're going to click on my name because that's where we want to connect and we're going to connect to T-Box and we're going to pair and we're going to allow and that's it now my Bluetooth is connected so I could play my Bluetooth music like usual and then now I can actually go ahead and open up our AutoKit app, which has the wireless CarPlay. So now it's gonna spin for a little bit, takes a few seconds just to connect. This is only, it only does this the first time. You will get a message if, if, uh, if it's the very, very first time, it, it asking you if you wanna use CarPlay, all you have to do is click yes and you should be in the system. So we're gonna go in here. And now, as you can see, it's wireless. I don't have any wires connected. It's uh, the wireless CarPlay. So I'm gonna shut this off, of course. And now you can enjoy your CarPlay features on your radio uh, with no wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe through these. I'm gonna go back to my home screen. So we are gonna just click on the circle here and click on home screen and we can do that. Also, real quick, I just want to show you this uh, really fast. This is the picture in picture. So you can actually be watching YouTube. You could X out it there and open up apps and your video will still be playing in the background. I'm just gonna close that up real quick. And finally, if you want to go back to your home screen for your car, just click on your home screen for the car and it it goes back to your original menu as you can see we already here in the unit and i'm just gonna shut off my car like if i just exited out of the car i'm gonna open my door close my door like if i came back in and i'm gonna go ahead and open my system and you should see how it will start up automatically so this takes again it takes about 30 to 30 seconds to a minute so let's just see how this starts right away we're gonna press continue as you can see it's gonna take a while a couple of seconds while everything powers up you should see here some lights flashing and it should be coming right up so now as you can see it loaded up automatically and my carplay is gonna load up automatically this could be your vehicle too and it's connecting directly to my phone no wires again no wires attached this is my iphone and perfect there you go no wires in this uh vehicle if you have a center console with controls that will also work and basically it'll keep all your features going from your vehicle your all your original factory features uh you don't have to tear down your dashboard uh, to get the android features everything is there ready to go and that's pretty much it thank you guys if you guys have any questions please contact us at digitaloctopusradio.com or you, if you want to purchase go ahead and write into the website we're going to have them available soon uh, they are going to be plenty in stock of course these things sell out all the time like the, the, the our other lines of radio so uh, be on the lookout it's going to be in stock soon and i'll see you guys later have a happy new year